But I do think that what hypothesis built upon is like OED, which is a longer conversation than that we've been having across the uh, issues of equity and inclusion, affordability as a first generation student myself um, to go to undergrad, let alone to go get a graduate degree. Like, don't ever know what that means. But, you know, the affordability of books has always been, a, you know, of materials has always been a concern. Um, and I do think that hypothesis we can actually um, evaluate the impact of social annotation by seeing how this, how students get involved in creating OER. Um, and mm -hmm. hypothesis is one step to that, right? It's like practicing that at the beginning. How do you practice this? And then how do you do it? And how do you build? And how do you scale up all of these concerns? So I think that that's one way to do it. Um, I said earlier that I have, I've started using um, a hypothesis as a, a, for a quiz. And what do I mean by that? Um, I do a lot of close reading. Close reading analysis is a, is a tool, is a method. Lit uses it, political theory uses it. We all use it, right? Policy analysis uses it. But um, because of the kind of generational shifts in how reading practices are happening, right? We all talk about, oh, people aren't reading anymore. Actually, they are. We're reading way more than we used to. We're just not doing long, sustained, deep reading anymore, right? We're just mm -hmm. we're reading so much that we don't have time to sit down with a full book or to get in deeper to a text. So what's great is that you can use the hypothesis group function to create individual assignments for each of your students and just be like, okay, here's four points. I want you to find these four points, right? And those four points could be two of them are content questions and two are actually application questions where they're pulling in something from earlier in the course that they read and trying to put it to bear. And that's a really great kind of function I think that hypothesis gives us as a tool. We can do the social annotation, right? I usually do that. They practice that. But then really show me how you individually, you person, you here and now are showing me your literacy. Um, mm -hmm. Deep literacy is very important to democracy. We know how important it is right now. Yeah. So I think hypothesis can be used in that way and very effectively.